As North Korea ratchets up the tensions with a military display, the communist country rolled out new intercontinental missiles and other military hardware in a huge parade to celebrate the birthday of that nation's late founder. North Korea has conducted several missile and nuclear tests, and there are concerns that the new missiles could reach the United States. Ben Tracy is in the capital, Pyongyang, with the latest. Ben, good morning. Good morning. It's a major holiday here in North Korea today, celebrating the 105th birthday of the country's late founder. And during a massive military parade, North Korea seems to have revealed that they have an even bigger arsenal of weapons than we knew. The parade went on for more than two hours as thousands of North Korean soldiers marched in lockstep through the city's main square, while North Korea's leader, Kim Jong-un, looked down from above. And then came the tanks, rockets, and missiles. North Korea displayed their long-range submarine-launched ballistic missiles for the first time. They are believed to be the same type of missile North Korea successfully launched from land in February. They use solid fuel, making them harder to detect and destroy. But perhaps more significantly, South Korea's military believes these large missiles that came at the end of the parade are a new type of intercontinental ballistic missile. North Korea's goal is to build a nuclear-tipped ballistic missile capable of striking the United States. In a speech today at the parade, a high-ranking North Korean official blamed the Trump administration for heightened tensions on the Korean peninsula and said if attacked, North Korea will respond with all-out war, including nuclear weapons. It's also significant what did not happen today. Many people were expecting that North Korea might conduct its sixth nuclear test. They did not do that, but the country's vice minister for foreign affairs tells me they will carry on with that test at the time of their choosing. Alex? Ben Tracy, right where the action is in Pyongyang, North Korea. Thanks, Ben.